take off the test out the horn. Oh, ee, that quit the bike when I did that. Huh. Well, the bike won't start, and I think it's probably a uh, fuse blown and probably some bare wires. I'm gonna have to take off the tank and follow the routing for the horn. Maybe take off the headlight shroud. Pretty bad. What's the question here, Helen? The Helena? question is, well, so we test drove it in reverse and we bought it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Down the driveway, it ran beautifully until we tried to apply the brakes. What did you do, uh, back it up all the way home? No. <laughs> we had it towed. It was too far. Hey, hey, I've got mail. I have mail. Where is it? I have some pretty good letter. It's from uh, Jay. Stuff with that Jay. My father wouldn't allow it. Back. 
Lucky. All you have not led a good, clean life. I don't want to tell you, brother Christian. But it's going on the engine too. You'll have to leave. Yeah, last night in France, they stopped a little room to enjoy a little repast. And, uh, pff, man, and I can't, I can't really wash it down right now because I only like getting my dirt bike wet if I'm going to ride it. Because I don't want water sitting, you know, so. Pff, I don't know. Uh, it might be kind of a pain in the ass to clean it. I'll do my best. <laughs> ah, well. I dare you to find a better deal anywhere else or a cooler selection for that matter. Just go to the Home Consignment Center. Locations online at thehomeconsignmentcenter.com. That's the. That, well, they truly are. And it really, I think, was something that came out when Bob Garner made his first two stars coming back from the disabled list. Uh, remember, he made a couple of mistakes in this, uh, the first one, and both of them got launched. Incredible deals on that Ford car trucker SUV. Here's the two ones. Step by speaker, those turns into another run. That has happened twice in this game. What have you got to lose? ACO 28, CCO 88, 130. Oil you can print at speedyoil.com slash save. Who can get you in and out of the 29 bucks? Speedy Kitchen. Speedy Oil Games and Auto Service. Full service, full speed. The website for details, restrictions, and exclusions. Hey guys, fans, this is Bernard fan. Now back to the best in the business, Miller and Fleming on KNBR 680. Get out there in the new Corolla and get 2,500 cash back. Your new Corolla comes with the peace of mind of both Toyota Safety Sense and Toyota Care Included. Toyota, let's go places. Cash back is available through Toyota Motor Sales and cannot be combined with other offers. Offer in 73117. Uh, the Doodle Crew, the organic crew, proud partners of the San Francisco Giants. Not only can you enjoy their delicious chicken sandwich covered in their signature barbecue ranch sauce at the park, you can also enjoy it at one of their other eight locations. Sacramento, you are next. Hey, this is Bernie Crawford. Proud to wear the colors I grew up in, orange and black. Now back to Giants Baseball on KMBR 680. Here we go to inning number five. The Giants trail the Dodgers two to one with Brandon Crawford coming up. It is the round table pizza grand slam inning. It's the Giants at a grand slam. Some of the wins five thousand dollars courtesy of round table pizza. So Crawford followed by Jay Jun Huang and then it goes Gorky Fernandez against Ritzel. The pants home run, the only Giants hit and run. Two one Dodgers. Here's John Miller. Crawford hit a hard. Earlier this year, said he wasn't aware of that and tried to pick up the pace. Hello, my name is Just Tom. I'm calling from Santa Rosa, California. Just Tom, what an interesting name. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in the phone book under T for Tom. <laughs> Just Tom, Santa Rosa. And I got it at all. It's really, it's really good out here. Now it's done this like you cap the brake and that's the buck, and then it'll kick back up like, you know, it's. Grabbed another gear or something, and then it'll settle down, and it may not do it again for a long time, and then it may do it again for the next five miles. I don't get it yet. You're, you're driving along, say, 35, 40 miles an hour? It could be 35, it could be 25, it could be okay. 85. And you touch the brake pedal. No, it's, it, it feels like you touch the brake pedal. Ah, it feels ah. like you touch the brake pedal. Yeah. It just, out of the blue, it suddenly feels right. almost like stopping, and then it picks up again. Right. Now, this happened... Uh, I never heard of a whoop tube. Well, I just wanted to get another opinion. Well, you got one. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of it. No. Let's take off the blindfold. <laughs> Step on the gas and just go 10 feet and stop.
Well, it's been about a day. Letting this harden. It's pretty good. I'm gonna put some electrical tape on it now. Just got, just got my baby back. See there, in the very, 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 very background, there's some motorcycle tents. That is the home of Morin Sons in Santa Cruz. I just got my bike back. Clean bill of health. Fun's back, baby. All right. Got the old EXCF running again. Got, uh, I haven't personally test driven it yet, but got the A-OK, -okay, everything checks out fine and it's running good. So found a couple, found a few things and uh, did a lot of maintenance on the bike. So found a short right here, right down at the bottom by the horn. Uh, not a short, but it was a wire that had gone bare. So um, fixed that up there. And then um, underneath the gas tank, right to right back behind here but right back basically in there we had a wire that was bare wire and because it was rubbing when you go like this these uh, throttle wires just rub a little bit on the harness and I guess after uh, well I have about 4,000 miles on the bike so after about 4,000 miles it had rubbed through one of the one of the wires just you know a little thin electrical wire like these guys here uh, so um, fixed that up and then also inside the horn switch um, on the bottom of the horn switch there's a bunch of holes here so that you can put in testing probes when you're doing electrical testing but the problem is, is it's like directly connected to this switch so it's like it's it pretty dirty in there there was a lot of dirt in there so I took that part cleaned it um, uh, put in a new spark plug. I didn't do that. Um, Tom over at Morin Sons did that. And also checked my valves for me. So that's good. Those are all in spec. And um, so I'm pretty stoked, man. So now we're going to go take it for a test ride and see how it goes. Oh my god, that's a beautiful sound. Oh, she's running like a dream. 